Imagine if you copied the design of another car and called it your own. You would be laughed at and have no credibility in the automotive world. Unfortunately, this is what some car companies do. Copy the designs of other cars and then call them their own. In some cases, the company takes the inspiration of the other company and adds their idea to create their design. In contrast, others copy another car's exact pattern and design without changing anything. Welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll talk about the issues of car companies simply taking the designs of their counterparts as their own. But before going any further, please hit the like and subscribe button below for more car videos. The automobile industry is one of the world's largest industries, focusing on developing, designing, manufacturing, marketing, and selling motor vehicles. It's seen rapid advancements in recent years due to the introduction of new technologies such as autonomous driving and electric power. It's increased opportunities for automakers to improve production efficiency while creating new revenue streams. The industry is now more competitive than ever as automakers strive to stay ahead by investing heavily in research and development. In 1886, Carl Benz was the first to create a gasoline-powered automobile. Following this, the Ford Model T, which the Ford Motors Company created in 1908, was the first automobile to be assembled in mass production. The industry has, for years, witnessed a tremendous change with the increase in technological innovations. Unfortunately, we've seen cases of a company copying the design and pattern of another company. Plagiarism has been around since the dawn of the automobile industry. From copying a rival company design to producing similar products, car companies have long been guilty of copying each other's ideas. The history of the automobile industry is full of stories about copycats and plagiarism. Companies like Ford and GM have been accused of stealing designs from each other, while Toyota and Honda have had their controversies over copied parts. This behavior has caused massive disruption in the car industry, leading to lawsuits and fines for those caught stealing from one another. In recent years, regulations and laws have been put into place to combat plagiarism in the auto industry. Car companies must now abide by strict rules to ensure they don't steal another company's intellectual property. Even though there are still cases of plagiarism occurring, these laws are helping to keep car companies honest and protect intellectual property rights. You may have heard of other historical cases of plagiarism in the automotive world. An example is the Chevrolet Citation, which was a clone of a Japanese car model, the Toyota Tercel. The similarities were so blatant that a lawsuit was filed in 1983 by Toyota against General Motors. However, this was eventually settled out of court, and the issue was never brought to light. Similar cases include Honda suing Acura for copying their Prelude design, and Ford suing Geely for infringing upon its trademark design names. These cases prove that car manufacturers are willing to take legal action when someone is copying their designs for their own benefit, which has been going on for decades. When Geely released their new GE car, a nearly exact copy of the iconic Rolls-Royce Phantom, this caused quite a stir among luxury car enthusiasts due to its uncanny resemblance to the Rolls-Royce model. The GE has the same big chrome as the Rolls-Royce and also includes the spirit of ecstasy on the bonnet. The Hongqi LS5's model is similar to the old generation of Range Rover. The difference between the Hongqi and Range Rover is that it was modified to suit the Chinese market. Looking at the model closely, you'll see it has the Jeep Grand Cherokee design. The interior design has a dashboard similar to the old Range Rover. China created the Landwin X7, a perfect resemblance to the Range Rover Evoque. The design of the Range Rover Evoque was copied, including its painting pattern. The company unveiled the model in 2017 at the Shanghai Motor Shop with a white paint design. The new Suzuki Jimmy was the same design as that of the iconic G-Wagon. Suzuki seems proud of their actions, even though they added some other features in the car slightly different from that of the G-Wagon. The Chang'an CX70T's design closely resembles the Land Rover Discovery. You can see that many companies are guilty of plagiarism in the automobile industry. This is a massive problem because it's unfair to the companies who put in the hard work to develop their own design. But who owns the design of a car? The car company who designed it? The workers who put it together? The person who came up with the original idea? The answer is, unfortunately, a little bit of all of the above. Most car designs are subject to a range of patents and trademarks, which give the company that originally designed the car exclusive rights to that design. However, in some cases, other companies have been known to copy another car's design without paying any royalties or license fees. This is a problem that the automotive industry has faced for years and is becoming increasingly difficult to manage. With advances in technology making it easier to replicate car designs, it's becoming harder and harder for companies to protect their intellectual property. They can have a lasting effect on the automotive industry as a whole. Plagiarism can lead to an influx of low-quality knockoffs that can hurt consumer confidence in products and negatively affect overall industry sales.
else. A handful of companies copying each other's designs also stifles creativity, which is essential for any booming industry. Innovative ideas and technology drive the automotive sector forward, yet plagiarism undermines true innovation and limits the market's growth. The bottom line is that plagiarism has devastating effects on the industry and is not something to be taken lightly. That's why companies need to be vigilant about enforcing their copyrights and defending their original design. Oliver Tidman, a solicitor at intellectual property law firm Briffa, spoke in an interview that there was no international copyright law, but the Berne Convention for Protection of Liberty and Artistic Works Agreement stipulates that countries and companies need to respect the intellectual property of the law of one another. The automotive world is full of creative minds who design cars and imagine their features. But with this creativity comes the risk of plagiarism, so it's important to know the strategies that can be used to prevent it. First and foremost, car manufacturers should be well aware of the laws in their respective countries, as well as international acts such as the Paris Convention on Industrial Property Rights and TRIPS, trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights. Companies should also keep up with changes in the legal landscape, so they can ensure they comply with all applicable rules and regulations. It's also a good idea for companies to register their works under the appropriate intellectual property laws, ideally before entering any markets. It'll give them legal protection if someone tries copying or replicating their car design. Finally, companies should have an internal policy that discusses ways to avoid plagiarism or imitation in their designs and processes. This can include introducing tight oversight over product design and regularly monitoring designs for similarities with competitors' products. So the next time you're looking to buy a new car, do your research and know who you're buying from. Don't be fooled by a company that tries to pass off someone else's work as their own. There's no need for you to risk your safety by buying a car that hasn't been tested in a laboratory. Do your research and you'll be sure to find the perfect car. That is the end of our video today. Remember to hit the like and subscribe notification bell to get alerts on more of these kinds of videos. See you next time.